and welcome to Bike World. Now, the last show was all about Luke because I was away and I think the producer felt a little bit sorry for me, but more importantly, sorry for you guys at home. So this show, they've made it all about me with maybe a tiny weeny little bit of Luke thrown in for good measure. Now, when I first joined Bike World, I wanted to show everybody that I could ride. So I threw myself in at the deep end a little bit and entered Dawn to Dusk, an extreme enduro. But I needed some training before I did this. So I roped in a very famous friend and also an expert training academy. So Ross, what exactly are we doing today? What's well, happening? Well, hopefully um, one of you is going to come and do either the 24, the 12 or the 6 hour Dawn to Dusk. And then, uh, so what we'll do is we'll go out and we'll find out who's the best, who's going to do it, who's going to come down, and uh, yeah, we'll um, yeah we'll see what happens, and then uh, and then make sure that you you set up and anything that happens down in Wales, we'll recreate it here, so there's no surprises. Let's have it. That made me look good. You'll see, like the, the top riders, like you know, there'll be a there'll be a groove you know there'll be like a rut that everyone's taking or a certain line and you'll see like the, the really fast guys they'll come along and they won't even bother with that they'll just find a different like that's like yeah. half the skill of it is is and that's like that experience thing of, of finding the you know of knowing that if you put your front wheel on that it's going to send it there and, yeah. and and when you you know it's sort of but well, that's just it's so just i guess if you get to time. a really long hill there's no harm in just Sitting back a little bit, having a look at it first, yeah, and then absolutely. well, with anything, you know, yeah. even, even like something like that, just have a look if necessary. Get off the bike, just walk, walk around, around it, suss yeah. it out, yeah. and then, but because because it's a um, a loop, at least the next time you come to it, if if it doesn't quite work, and then, yeah. but that's the other thing. Like if if you see a load of bikes going in and getting stuck in the same place, just look for another. Because nine times out of ten, you'll see people are all stuck in the same rut. Yeah. But there'll be a lovely, you know, there'll be like a really nice bit of grass up there. Um, one more question that I've got actually is, what happens if you need a wee? Um, you do like you, a Paula Radcliffe. You can do, you can stop at the pits, and you can use the facilities there. But to be honest, it's acres and acres, miles, <laughs> miles, of miles. Find the bush. And, Get very good at it, believe me. <laughs> She's on the floor at the moment. <laughs> right then, so we've done a pretty, what I would call, intense day of training. I've uh, done things I never thought I'd do. And we also got on the bikes at some point. Um, but what do you guys reckon, obviously? Patsy, Ross, you've obviously got to pick one of us, and I know how hard it is. Oh, you've put the effort in. Yeah, but she wasn't bad, was she? I saw her pinging off during jumps, riding through rivers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is, is there anything you can't do? The best time. You've literally got a playground here, haven't you? Well, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it is a tough decision. Really? I think you it's got to be serious. It's not really. <laughs> <laughs> It's really I not. Was no. to carry that there. <laughs> we, we almost carried that decision. flag on. That, that he, I was good. He made the effort, but if yeah. he tried yeah, yeah, it, he yeah. would die. I think, I think. I think. Yeah. I think Susie's going to do brilliantly. Thank you so much. I'm. I'm so excited. Excellent. Brilliant. <laughs> to the to race. race. To the race. <laughs> so I had a great time training with Ross and laughing at Luke all day. But was I ready for what was about to happen? Now, obviously, you're doing the 24-hour dawn till dusk race yeah. solo. Are you mm. mad? Why don't you do it as part of a team? 
Well, because the trouble is, if you do it as part of a team, when you come in, you get cold. It's kind of you're sitting around waiting. Whereas at least if you do it by yourself, you're just out there riding, you know. Now, this is your second year running, so last year didn't put you off, obviously. What kind of advice can you give me? It's my first enduro. You just have to keep going. Like, it doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter if you drop the bike a hundred times. It doesn't matter if people are flying past you. It doesn't matter how down you are. You've just got to keep going, even if it means sitting down and paddling your way through. Just keep going. Just don't stop. You just... just crack on. Now obviously I'm only doing six hours so I'm gonna come out after you've done 18. How are you gonna feel when you see me in my you know clean fresh gear? Well, what'll happen is when the 12 hour starts and when the six hour starts by that time I'll all already be wrecked so you'll go flying past and all your lovely clean kit and uh, yeah so just <laughs> be nice to an old man. <laughs> Lights aren't working, so that last lap, I was literally just waiting until people caught up with me and then just sitting behind them, just trying to see like what you where their lights were. Yeah. I'll say I'll go with it, but yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. do another two hours. See, I hate to say this, but I've actually had quite a good night's sleep. You, however, have been up all night. Yes, I think we've been up about 18 hours so far. You've got guys riding in the 24 hour, the 12 hour, and then me in the six. So what have you been doing? Well, they obviously with the, with the 24 hour guys, it's not just looking after their bike, it's looking after their uh, energy side, their mental side, they come in and they go in sort of ups and downs. So we concentrate on the bike and then we make sure they're getting lots of food, right food and drink. And actually just it's the morale, it's keeping them going all the time. So the circuit is now around 16 miles long yep. and um, I'm gonna be doing it on a KTM 150. I've seen a lot of four strokes out there. Am I gonna be all right on a two stroke? Yeah, I think to be honest, um, for us girls, a smaller, lighter bikes, a lot easier. Some of the guys, they go for a big, heavy four-stroke and it's just going to beat them up more. So I think, no, I think this will be an ideal bike for you. It's nice and light, nimble. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll be 100 percent truthful. She is out there. I'm feeling a bit guilty now because the uh, the course this year is actually quite hard. Like it's proper hard actually in places. And uh, yeah, I, I would say I know she's booked in to do the six hour, but uh, yeah, if she can make it, uh, if she can do one lap round there, she'll be doing really well.
got to apologise because I feel like a terrible host. I literally just disappeared off into the woods and went, oh, there's a bike over there, just gone, just gone right. I, I won't talk to you for the whole thing. I totally great. underestimated it. It was so difficult. You know, you definitely need some practice, don't you, for this? A little bit, yeah. And yeah. you did throw me in the deep end. Yeah, yeah, but did you have fun? Amazing fun. Even when I was kind of off and my legs stuck under the bike, I was laughing so and thinking, isn't this fun? It goes without saying that we couldn't have done this without Desert Rose Racing. And they've been absolutely great help, even after just my one lap with all the food and drink and everything. <laughs> and for you as well through the night. So thank you very much, Desert Rose Racing. And also to Tour Tech as well. And you, Ross, for, for choosing me to do this with you. I would give you a kiss. It's nice. But you don't want this. Wet, damp. Yeah, sweat, <laughs> mucus and dirt. Here I am in a field near Hastings, ready to take my Duro training to the next level with the help from legendary Paris Dakar rider and founder of Desert Rose Racing, Patsy Quick. Patsy, tell us about Desert Rose. Well, there's two sides of Desert Rose. Uh, there's the academy side, okay, which is all about training, uh, tuition, and that that starts right from someone who's perhaps never been on a bike before, right up. To Dakar standard and Desert Rose Racing is doing uh, assistance at rallies and more the racing side the hare and hounds element of it. Now Desert Rose supported me at dawn till dusk and you got to see my riding what kind of things do you think I can improve on? Well I think what we've got here today uh, are lots of mini versions of what you encountered up in Wales really. I encountered hell <laughs> that's what I encountered. <laughs> well, it won't be hell here today I can assure you. So we've got lots of different obstacles. So we can uh, we can cover preload, okay. So you can learn how to actually get over those obstacles, okay. We'll be covering some flat corners, some ruts, and some logs, and some snotty little hill climbs, which is definitely what you get on dawn till dusk. Well, preloading of the suspension, I definitely want to learn because. Um, on the first corner for Dawn to Dust there was that big log and everybody was kind of getting stuck over it and I took the easy yeah. route, I took the yeah. longer route. My head coach will go off with you, we'll, he'll cover those elements and then you and I will go out later around the track and actually encumber some of those en route. So hopefully at the end of the day I'll have improved confidence and improved skill. Absolutely, no, no doubt about no, it. No. We're going to be focusing on four different areas today and the first one is preload of the suspension. Let's just think about the preload, what we're actually doing is loading up the suspension on the bike. Okay, so we don't really, we can get a little bit off the throttle and we can use the clutch in slower. Uh, when we, you know, we're about sort of five to ten miles an hour then we're using the clutch. When we go a little bit faster we can use then a bit more off the throttle on the bike. Um, I think Jack's going to... Yep, Jack's going to give us a little demo. Demo, uh, just fall off this bike. <laughs> So whilst we're doing a bit of preload there, I can see you keep looking over my shoulder this obstacle we have here. Okay. Yeah. I think it's something, it's something drawing you to I've got that. Got BDI on yeah, it. Yeah, your BDI on it. So do you want to have a go at it? Yes, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Think I mean, so. I mean, this is what we can't do if it's if it's a think so or try or if you like that frame of mind, it's going to go a little bit wrong. No. But if we're going to go it. for it, yes, that's what we need go to do. For it. Get the yes, job done. Dippy. No. So what you've got to do, you've got to Back drive off it. But all it is is just good drive off of it. It's not take off. I want Jack to show you? Yeah. Okay, Jack. Are you nervous? Don't be nervous. I'm not nervous. Right, so we've covered preloading of the suspension, yep. which I had a go at. Now we're going to try and master the art of cornering. Try? Yeah. Have a go. Try, have a go. Have a go, okay. <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at some cornering now. Okay, we have loads of corners around this track. A lot of the lads who come along, or lasses who come along and train with me for the Enduros, especially in the southeast of England, we have very small bits of land we can ride on. So it consists of lots of corners. And they always say to me, Zip, how can I get quicker lap times? I say, it's not on the straights, you save it on the corners. Imagine we've got 60 corners around this lap here. You can save two seconds a corner. That's good two minutes that's, a lap. That's like one minute 20, isn't it? One minute 20? I don't know, is that two seconds times by 60? 
Is it? Anyway, I'm going to be learning how to master the flat corner. Yep. I'm going to do it really quickly. Really quickly? Yes. Okay. There's a difference between smoothly and quickly. Oh, okay. Okay, what we say sometimes is slower, smoother is quicker. Right. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, so smoother you can come around the corner and the quicker you'll come round and get better lap times. In. So what we have here, we have this nice flat corner. Well, it started off a flat corner, because as you can see today, we've got this track, which is all up and running on the practice day. Okay, and what's happened here, when the lads have come around, we've got a nice berm created. As we come into the corner, we'll be leaning a little bit into the front brakes here to put the front wheel into the ground to slow us down. Then what we need to be doing is pushing as hard as we can on this foot here. Yep. Now this leg then comes out. But what we do is we do not... I'm not that flexible. Are Steady not? there. Okay. We do not have as our leg out go. to the side like this. There should ideally be no gap between there and there. Because our leg is not designed to do that, is it? Ah! Really. Okay. <laughs> what it is designed to do is bend at the knee. Yep. So what we need to do is have the leg against the shroud here and we point our toe in a little tiny bit. Okay. Again, if you point your toe out, it can catch the ground and then rip you, yeah? Okay, Get so a little bit like that, that's the one. Yeah. What is then the knee here? Then if this was to hit the ground, the knee can bend and come up through there like that. So here comes Jack. Very good. I know I think I know that was too early. The room for improvement we can do there is this leg does need to be in more. Yeah. It is, it does help the bike and what it does if it is on top here right up as high as you can it, the bike can lay over a little bit further. What's happening now more in the enduro scene, especially in the southeast, we haven't got a lot of land. What we're doing is putting more and more of these extreme parts in. What we have here is a little extreme part that comes down through here and up this here and away they go. It's quite challenging. Yeah. It is challenging, but it does cut out some of the track. So when we have all our riders come along, they could be experts, whatever they are, experts, club and beginners, they all got a chance to have a good go around yeah. the track. So if you cut this out and do the extremes you have around here, you will get quick lap times. Yeah. ideal things to do is to sit down before you have to sit down yeah, okay. so don't take it to the ultimate oh I really need to sit down now and then it goes wrong and stall it clutch out fantastic okay where can we improve on this I think I, I wasn't looking properly and I probably could have lined it up a bit better. Lined it up a little bit better, yep. I did think he was going to come towards me then. Oh, oh get target fixation yeah, with good looking men. <laughs> But what we need is a little bit more punch at the bottom, okay, and then a little bit more punch. We can always take the power away with the clutch. So, how Susie, how did you get on with Zippy this morning? It was really good actually. So we did the preload suspension preload of the suspension, yep. um, went over the, the log, fine. I also tried the tyre actually, right, which I know yeah, wasn't on good. our list of things to do, no, but, but I wanted to have a go. Excellent for the confidence. Uh, the flat cornering and the berms, had a go at that. Uh, he, he really got my position right for that, elbow up, yep. leg in the right place. And then Zippy took me down to the goal for right, a couple yep. of hill climbs, and there was a really deep rut there as well, which um, so I did a bit of rut work. At same Good, time. that's excellent. So, but now I just feel like it's applying it when I'm out on my own because having Zippy there at the side ready to yeah, catch you yeah. and you like fall off uh, gives you a bit of confidence, doesn't it? You think, yeah, I can do this, but when you're on your own, it's a bit of a different well, game. Well, perhaps now we ought to go and put all of that that you've learnt this morning into practice and head off around the track. Cover the clutch up right and just look ahead and 
slower will actually mean faster. Yeah, yeah. It definitely means smoother. Okay. Now, if you want to improve your skills and confidence like me, then you should definitely check out Desert Rose Racing. Now, I'm going to go back out and have a little bit more fun. Well, that's it for this show. Our next episode is on the 5th of September at 9pm. And would you believe it, that's the last of this series. In the meantime, don't forget that you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. Mm -hmm.